Watch this! Gina versus okay, we got a different matchup, and this should be highly favored. Which means I'll probably lose after winning two uh, favorables. I think that's how math works, right? We have turned our curse into our strength. Fireball is a card that kills my opponent, so I'm happy to see that. Straight vodka at 8 a.m.? Yeah, yeah. Not even 8 a.m. yet. Alright, so this is a matchup where, unlike yesterday where we discussed, like, the breakpoints for damage uh, in terms of hitting them at 15, we just want to be very careful not to, like, do something stupid where we give them a really early Molten Giant, but we can be a little bit more liberal with our attacks here to, um, to just get them into burn range, right? If he plays a Giant here, it, uh, gets hit pretty hard. Okay. Not bad. I think getting this down earlier is better than uh, getting value off of the ice block going down. What's the meta looking like today? Uh, this is like my fourth game, so it's tough to say. Um, I've played the same. I played a, an odd warrior, the same odd rogue twice in a row, and then now an even uh, warlock. Uh, let's get this down first, so we don't pull the second ice block, and we're double trading into this to play around uh, defile. Puts them to nine, which gives us uh, Frostbolt lethal for top or top deck Frostbolt lethal, so I'm fine with that. Yes, it potentially gives them a lot of uh, Giants or Hooked Reavers, but uh, the Hooked Reaver is less impactful with the explosive up. But I'm just dumb. Uh, you seem to miss Mana Worm? No, not particularly. Uh, we're doing quite well without it. Like, yeah, it's it, it, the deck is worse, but the deck is actually better because uh, Odd Paladin is no longer a deck. Uh, you do lose the Kingsbane matchup, but people are still playing the aggro Kingsbane, which you can probably beat just because they're going to not heal for um, infinite damage. So, I think, uh, I think it's in a reasonable spot. I think that people just wrote it off and are also playing some weird builds like with uh, Flame Wakers. I don't think that that's necessary. I think that uh, you'd rather just have a mass contender and just go full secret. It it, it looked like BM, and I, I'm sorry because I do like Ben, but uh, no, I was just not counting my damage correctly. Okay, uh, keep the two secret sheets and look for a two drop. But back to the mana worm thing, like mana worm was never the reason this deck was good, and I've been saying this a lot and for a long time. Mana worm was not what made this deck powerful because, like. At best, Mana Worm was a 1-mana 3-3 three, three on turn 2, right? Because, like, if you think about your most optimal play with a Mana Worm on the board, it's uh, Mana Worm coin, uh, Kirin Tora Mage into Secret, right? Yeah, that's nuts, but like, that's not like it is in a full tempo build where you have Primordial Glyphs, you have um, Arcane Missiles, you have that kind of thing. So it was never a card that just, like, ran away with... Uh, with games in in this particular build because you had so you have a higher minion density compared to uh compared to your spells and compared to other decks so that's my uh mana worm rant uh we want to stagger our minions here so that um super collider is worse Like, this Secret Keeper is just as big as the Mana Worm would have been in this situation. Why does no one play Dragon uh, Fire Potion anymore? The Because four mana 7-7s seven are, are a thing. Like, there are too many minions that are just, like, bigger than a Dragon Fire. So we can't coin out a 5 here, which is pretty good. Um, so now I'd like to make mid-range priest with Velen OTK uh, package. Do you think it would work? Yeah, I think that uh, it's a deck that has been rising in popularity and standards, so I think that there's some potential for that. Uh, let's protect ourselves from... 
Like a brawl? I noticed your only draw is a Luna, then I started thinking about Mad Scientist and Contender. Yeah, Mad Scientist, Contender, Arcanologist, all are like pseudo draw effects, right? So that's... It's fine without them, and that's lethal. Another warrior? Uh, we can't make any assumptions about this one, since we have not yet faced this guy. Uh, probably keep the lackey to find an explosive runes in case he's pirate. Um, maybe not explosive runes, but maybe we would be better off with like a counter spell. So he's not odd. Let's go ahead and just tempo this out. It, get, it sets up our valet and blocks like his coin cannons shenanigans. Hey, Reno Jackson, thank you for that host. I don't know why I didn't get a notification, but uh, I appreciate that nonetheless. Hope you had a good stream and GG's earlier. Okay, so this is going to leave his um, cannon exposed because he's probably looking to cannon. Yep. Rip. And we just double trade and play the contender. Now he's sad. Look at how sad he is. You could also just trade... No, I, I want to get the Contender down. Especially with an Ice Block. Would have really liked that to be an Explosive Runes, but uh, the fact that it, we have a guaranteed Activator for Valet is pretty good, too. I love losing to Secret Mage, by the way. I'm, I'm sure that's uh, probably not completely serious. I got some pretty nutty draws against you, though, so it's, uh... Excuse me, you uh let's just take his pirates off the board. Oh, he knows where the place is. Uh, unfortunately, I think our weapon is a little bit better than his. We have many secrets. I'm just going to play this out. See, if I, I put this in play, then it's in play. And that's better than not being in play. Okay, then. A lot of weapons our friend has. That in play. Start smacking him. And that counter spell just absolutely wrecked him, right? Like, oof. Like, it was a really small thing. It hit the coin. But, like, it's just thrown off every turn since then. So I need to ping here. We have many I think I'm done with the contender. I'd rather get the uh, the ballet back, assuming I pull a, um, a duplicate somewhere. Tempo Mage is my favorite archetype. It's one of my favorites, too. Crossbolt is good because it blocks his next um, Arcanite Reaper attack, which is getting massive, by the way. 10, 14, we're not dead yet. Not to mention we have the ice block up, so it's just fine. This does damage. This sort of does damage. This eventually does damage. Oh, he's dead. Imagine that. Counting. It's difficult.